Hey Chemistry, Mrs. KJ here going over 2.06 gases and moles. Have your calculator, pen, and paper ready. So let's review STP a little bit. STP stands for Standard, Temperature, and Pressure. Do you remember the values for Standard, Temperature, and Pressure? The Standard Temp is 273 Kelvin or 0 degrees Celsius. The Standard Pressure is 100 kilopascals or 1 atm. Why do we use it? Why do we need STP? So scientists around the world can get the same results. Remember, gases are going to change their volume based on their pressure and temperature, so in other order to have accurate results, especially when they're working with things like medication, we want to make sure everyone starts with the same parameters. In this case, we have STP. If you have one mole of any gas at STP, how many particles do you have? Well, if you have a mole, you should know how many particles it is. And if not, you get to listen to verse 1. You who, you who, it's 6.022. What's the rest of the word? 10 to the 23rd. And if you don't remember that, listen to it over and over and over until you do. So one mole of any gas has 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd particles of that gas. Now, if I have one mole at STP, because this part's true all the time, right? All moles always have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd particles. But specifically at STP, if I happen to have a mole, not only do I have this many particles, but there's another number. That's right, verse 2. There's more, there's more. It's 22.4 liters of gas. That one mole will pass. Okay, I know it's a little bit nasty, and my brother and nephew were over, and they helped me write this one, so I'm totally going to blame it on them. But here's what you need to know. 22.4 liters of gas in one mole when you're at STP. So, again, at STP, your temperature is 273 Kelvin. Your pressure is 100 kilopascals. If you have one mole of gas, not only do you have 6.022 times 10 to the 20 three particles, which is always true, but you also know that 22.4 liters is the volume of any gas at STP. Side note, there can be more or less than one mole when working with STP, but if you happen to have one mole, the space it takes up is how much? 22.4 liters, whether it's oxygen or steam or carbon dioxide, it doesn't matter what gas it is, if it's at STP, and you have a mole, it takes up 22.4 liters. So this is a good reference of how many liters one mole of gas takes up at STP. Kind of gives you an idea of how big a mole of gas is. So now we have to do the math. At STP, how many liters does two moles of carbon dioxide occupy? All right, what do you know? We know we have two moles. Put it over 1. What unit goes at the bottom of our next fraction? It has to be moles. Why? We know it has to be moles because we need the moles to cancel out. And what is our final unit going to be? In other words, what are we solving for? We're solving for liters. So what's going to go on the top? Liters. And how many liters are equal to how many moles? There's more, there's more, it's 22.4 liters of gas. That one mole will pass. All right, so then in your calculator, you are going to multiply everything across the top. So we have 2 times 22.4, and our answer will be 44.8 liters, in this case, of CO2 gas. As always, make sure you're pausing when you need to, rewind when you need to, and write down what you need to. All right, let's do one more practice. 112 liters of steam is how many moles? Write down what you know, put it over one. What has to be the unit on the bottom of the next fraction? Liters. So this time moles was on the bottom because we started with moles and it had to cancel. This time liters is on the bottom because we started with liters. Okay, and what do we want for our final unit? 
we want our final unit to be moles. And so what are we going to put on the top here? Moles and one mole at STP is how many liters of any gas? 22.4 and again they cancel off and we're going to put that in our calculator. So what you're actually putting in your calculator is the 112 times 1 divided by 22.4 ooh sorry about that times 1 divided by 22.4 alright and when you put that in your calculator you get 5 so if you notice this example doesn't put it over 1 I still think it's easier if you put your first number over 1 and you think of it as one giant fraction multiply everything on the top which in this case would be 1 mole divide it by everything on the bottom which is 22.4 liters. Alright, so go ahead and do the pre-quiz. If you have questions, come see me. And once you're done with that and satisfied with how you did, go ahead and take the quiz. And that's all. Good luck!